What is going on, YouTube? This is your boy Cash Hour, the coach of the New York Needle Kings, bringing you another battle for week two of the Worldwide Champions League. This time, this is our fourth battle of week two, taking place between the Carolina Royal Moons, coached by Owen, taking on Meowchester United, coached by Liam. As a reminder for all of you, here is uh, Owen's team. Dragapult, Sylveon, Hisuian, Samurott, Bronzong, Hisuian, Lilligant, Rafai, Mudsdale, Kanto Tauros, Hisuian, Arcanine, Kilowattro, Torkoal, and Scovillain. For Liam and Meowchester United, we got our Moth, Haldean, Water Tauros, uh, Florigs, Hisuian, Braviary, Fortress, Meloetta, Ismagius, Raichu, Yaskarada, Dragonite, Knacklesack, and Sneasel. After careful deliberation and thinking, the coaches decided to bring for the week Dragapult, Litigant, uh, Hisuian Litigant, Hisuian Harkonite, Hisuian Samurai, Sylveon, and Bronzong. Owen coming in with all three of Hisuian, His, Hisuian Mons. Taking on Liam's Meowchester United, Meowskarada, Iron Moth, Aldea Alquatoros, Dragonite, Lorgs and Fortress. Um, both teams are more or less unironically evenly matched. Uh, the differences between stats between pokes are one or two uh, difference between both. So this should be an evenly matchup. Um, both of these coaches won their week one. So we're going to have a loser this week. Um, Let's see who's going to get the win. Will Liam make a a miraculous comeback yet again? Or will Owen continue his dominant uh, performance as he's been doing so? Let's check out Battle 4 of the week. The Carolina Roaring Moon versus Meowchester United. So, starting in the back, we got Ronka, the Fortress for Meowchester United. We got Dragapult for the Carolina Roaring Moon. So instantly it swaps out and goes into Titania the Florgs. Dragapult going for the will o gets the burn on Florgs. Doesn't matter much for attack step, but will be uh, hampering Florgs each turn nonetheless. Dragapult going for the U-turn. Again, just chipping away at Florgus. Swaps out. Brings in Bronzong. Florgus goes to the Baton Pass. Swapping out, and in its place is Astolfo the Mielskarada. Bronzong switches out and tags in Sylveon. Mielskarada going for the knockoff, which we already know. Um, Proteins that take effect, turns into the Dark Tide, does these amount of damage, knocks off the Rocket Helmet, but not after taking some Rocket Helmet damage itself. This me. Swaps back out into Ronka, the Fortress. Sylveon going for the Wish. Is it going to heal itself or is it going to swap out someone to take a hit? It's Arcanine Hisui coming out. Fortress goes for the Spike. We got one layer of Spike on the field. Uh, and then looking at Owen's team, none of his Pokemon look like they have a way to remove it. Here comes the Paldea Aquatoros. The Intimidate hits, knocking Arcanine's attack down by one stat. Goes to the Wild Charge, does 35% damage nonetheless with that. Arcanine's withdrawn. In comes back Bronzong. Uh, Toro's going for the Raging Bull. Does a qu about a quarter health. Takes damage from the Rocky Helmet. Double Rocky Helmet this week from Owen. Goes again for Raging Bull, knocks Bronzong down at half health, taking a recoil both times from both attacks. Here's the Stealth Rock from Bronzong. Ooh, Toro's going for the rest. Uh, eats the Chester Berry, wakes itself up. Is it going for Raging Bull yet again next turn, I wonder? Bronzong goes for the Body Press again, does a little bit more above uh, quarter health. Toro swaps out. Here comes Fortress. Probably about to spin out these uh, rocks. 
Bronzong goes for the Psychic, 90% uh, damage to Fortress, sitting at 69%. No, swaps right back out into a Stalfo, the Miascarada, who takes damage from the Stealth Rocks. Uh, Bronzong swaps with Dragapult, who swaps right back out into Arcanine Hisui. Both of these not taking damage. I'm assuming they're both um, heavy duty boots. Um, Meowskarda going for the U-turn, switch to the bug typing. It's resisted by Arcanine's both rock and uh, fire typing. Owl comes back. Uh, they and Aquatoros again intimidating the Arcanine to lower its attack. Is it going for wild charge yet again? No. Flops to back out into Bronzong. Goes to the close combat, knocks 33% of its health. Um, it drops its defenses down by one stage, again taking damage from the Rocky Helmet. Taurus right now does not care, it's gonna take doing damage either way. Here goes for the Raging Bull yet again. In comes Flores yet again. And there's a Hex from uh, Dragapult doing 36% damage to Tanya. There's the recovery from Leftovers, takes the damage back from Birth, put it right back to normal. I don't know if it's going to live another one if it stays in. Nope, but Dragapult goes to the U-turn. In his place is Hisuian Arcanine. Flores goes for the Moonblast, takes 22% off of that. Uh, there's the recovery, there's the burn. I don't know if it wants to stay in. Do anything this Arcanine's about to do. Decides to stay in, gets hit with the head smash, which is enough. Titania, the Florix goes down. We got our first casualty of the game. 6 5. Here comes Astolfo the Masquerada yet again. Gonna go for. Here's Bronzong. Tagging in. There's the flower trick. Force protein is going to activate, turning a Stalfo to the pure grass type. It was a crit, obviously. We all know that due to the effects of flower trick. Goes for another one, which will be enough. Bronzong goes down. We're tied up 5-5. Five, five. In comes Hisuian Lilligant. All right, yeah, Skirata swapping out, goes into Fortress. Then assume uh, Yaskreta is choiced in some way. There's the victory dance from Lilligan, raising his attack, defense, and speed. Goes for a second one. This is not looking good. We remember what Liam was able to do similarly last week with his Dragonite with Dragon Dance. There's a pin missile from Fortress. Ooh, the last one being a crit. Doing double, almost a little bit above double what the other three regular hits hit. But Lilligan with one close combat is enough. Drops his drops his own defenses down, but is able to get the kill off of Bronca the Fortress. We are down 5-4. Here comes Dragonite. Guessing heavy duty because it ignored the, the rocks. They're going to try to set up, but Lilligan terrestrialized into the rock typing. Goes for the Terror Blast. And is able to one hit KO the Dragonite. No uh, comebacks for Dragonite this week. Sovereign the Iron Moth making his appearance. This Lilligant is gonna be a problem. There's a Terrible Easter Charty Chardy Berry to weaken the damage, but it's not enough. Sovereign the Iron Moth goes down. Five, two things are not looking good for Liam at the moment. Toros comes in, intimidates, dropping the attack by one. Goes for the Leaf Blade, which is a pretty much a guaranteed kill due to super effectiveness. Toros goes down. 5-1. Here comes Mascarada. Can it do something? It's, I highly doubt it, but you never know when it comes to Pokemon. No, it's not able to. A close combat from Lilligant, which is enough. Drops his own defensive, but who cares? It's gonna get the game winning kill. The knockoff, um, a stop for the masquerade. It is a 5 0 
big three for Owen and the Carolina Roy Moons. Um, GG's to both coaches. Um, and with that, that is the fourth battle of the week here for week two of the Worldwide Champions League. As always, this is your boy Cash Howard, the coach of the New York Needle Kings, signing off. <laughs>